Hi guys, Sam here from Super Nerds Gaming and I am back for another pick up video. So it's the summer, well, it's the Easter holidays and that. The kids are off, so I took them into town to get some stuff for them, some, you know, spoil them a bit, get some games. So I picked up some games for them. Uh, I obviously picked up some stuff for me as well, but here's what I picked up for them I picked up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I have literally no idea what these are about because they're not with the main franchise of Pokemon and obviously you play as a Pokemon and not a human in these games. Uh, the first encounter I've had with these games is when I went to Gran Canaria and I picked up this one. It is in Spanish but it is you can have English language on it as well. Um, so I've, you know if, if you know what they are let me know. I haven't got a clue I'll be honest. But anyway, yeah, yeah, that and the Pokemon Ranger games. Don't know what they are either. Right, moving on to what I got myself. Now, I, I've been looking at this for a while because I'm not a sporty, sporty person when it comes to anything really. But when gaming, I'm not really a sports person. But I did get recommended this, Speedball 2, by the Bitmap Brothers. Now, the Bitmap Brothers uh, did one of my favourite strategy games back on the PS1 and the Sega Saturn, which was Zed. Randomly, whenever I talk about it, no one knows what I'm going on about. So hopefully one of you will go, yes, I know that game, I know that game, hopefully. But uh, I got recommended this by Paul from uh, Maximum Power Podcast. Check them out. That podcast is absolutely amazing. Um, but they, they were going on about this. Um, I think they were talking more about it on the Amiga. But still, I thought, I'll see what they're going on about and check it out for myself. The next thing I picked up is actually really good. Uh, I'm quite happy to have this. Um, it is Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the Sig Sar. It's in a nice little pack. He's from Level Up, by the way, just so you know. You, you just know where I go to get my retro games now. So it was in a nice little packet. It's got some crap on the front there. I'm not happy with that. Damn you, Sega, for putting these in cardboard cases. Um, if you just know of a nice way of getting like that sticky crap off without damaging the case, please let me know in the comments because I don't want to ruin the box. Obviously, it is nice. I'm trying to open it here. <laughs> so, you know, it's got the manual and the disc. It's a big chunky manual manual as well, so I'm quite happy about that. Now lastly, lastly, again, my good friend Jack gifted me these. So he's the guy that gifted me the Dragon Ball Z comics. Now I've been meaning to get some of these for a long while because I've just been having a pure nostalgia fit for these every time I hear them get mentioned by Paul on Maximum Power Podcast. Magazines old gaming magazines now here's what i got given today and these are amazing i got given me machines and this is issue five or number 24 no uh number 24 sorry oh look at that cover that's fantastic but that is not all that i was given i was given issues one um is that the right one yes i was given issues one of Sega Pro uh, issue two uh, in my face of Sega Pro and issue 10 so random big jump of Sega Pro sorry that's not I've done it in the wrong order I've done it in the goddamn wrong order uh, one of these days I will get organized for this but I am um, oh, it's amazing look at all that all the stuff on the back oh I can't wait to dig into these these are fantastic Thank you again, Jack. That is another amazing thing that you've gifted me. It's just ooh, fantastic. But anyway, guys, that is literally everything I've picked up uh, this lovely Wednesday. Um, you know, let me know what user picked up. Anything good? Do you know what I mean? Leave it in the comment box. And I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.